In today's video, we are talking about signs that you are on the right track to redefining your life. Your elegant evolution has started. Let's talk about it. If you're new here, I'm Laura, and this is Executive Her. On this channel, I help women navigate their professional paths through modern elegance, grace, and sophisticated style. Okay, ladies, it is 2024. And yes, I probably will be saying that at least until the month of January is over. But it is 2024, a brand new year, a brand new start. Your evolution has started. So here are a few signs. One, well, you no longer like doing the same old things with the same old people in the same old places. Instead of Saturday night, you're watching Netflix on the sofa, then you head down to your local bar you're hanging out with the same people that you always hang out with. You're doing this so much so it is autopilot. You're no longer thinking about it because every Saturday night, every weekend, you are doing the same old things. The difference now is this no longer interests you. You are bored at that bar and you are thinking instead of being on this sofa watching Netflix, I want to go to the movie theater or there's now this new play in town. Everybody's talking about it. I want to go and experience that for myself. Or I want to go see that local art exhibit that everyone's talking about. Now you want to expand. You want to explore. You're no longer interested in doing those same old things. Instead, you want to elevate yourself. You want to go out and experience something new. Also, now instead of being around those same old people, you now want to be around people that may experience or may share the same interest or some of the things that you now think you're interested in. This is a sign that you are on the right track. Next ladies is your style is now changing. Before you would wear that short mini skirt, you wouldn't think anything about it. Anybody look at you wrong, you would say, what is wrong with them? I look good. I have the body for it. And even though you did, it was too short and you knew it was. Now, instead of thinking it is their problem, they shouldn't be thinking like that. You're now thinking, you know what? I like this other person's style where the skirt isn't as short and you have that same similar body type. So now, not only are you taking inspiration from the way that they look because they look more elegant, you are now appreciating what they look like and you're finding appreciation in not only that person, but maybe someone else whose life is a life that you see yourself having. They're doing some of the things that you see yourself doing. So now you're starting to take some inspiration from that. Instead of you doing the same thing or wearing the same thing, your style has changed. Not only your style in terms of how you dress, but your overall lifestyle. So the next sign to know that, well, you are now evolving, you are changing. That is, instead of having people around you who perhaps were negative people, they did and said negative things. Nothing that was inspiring for you, nothing that was helping you grow. As a matter of fact, it may even be that partner, you know the one, the one that's putting you down or that family member that has a comment, something negative that they're always saying. And instead of you before thinking about it, everyone excuses it. Well, you know how that is. Bob just does that. He doesn't mean it. Or you know how that is. Well, Susie doesn't mean it. That's just how she is. Instead of saying that's just how they are, now you're thinking perhaps that is how they are. But because they're not bringing value to me or to my life, they don't need to be who they are around me. I don't need that negativity. So now you have changed. You no longer want those kinds of people in your life. Now that leads to the next sign. And that is instead of being around negativity and being negative yourself, you know that attitude you have when you come into the office, all you want to do is put your bag down, grab your cup of coffee. You walk in, you have a bad attitude. You don't speak to anybody. Now, instead of thinking life is just so horrible and all these things keep happening to me, you're starting to think that, well, it doesn't cost me anything to smile or to say good morning or hello. And you're also thinking, well, when I do this, I, I feel a little better. And yes, life may be happening to me, but life happens to everybody. Life is always lifing. And because of that, now you're thinking, 
What can I do differently? How can I show up differently? How can I have a better attitude so these little small things don't bother me so much? And how can I have a more positive attitude where I'm just seeing all the beauty and greatness in all things? So all of these things that before I was really negative about no longer matters. Now I choose to be positive. Next, ladies, is you are now appreciating the simplicity in all things. Instead of being bold and brash and outspoken and loud, now you're thinking that simplicity is better. You don't have to be bold and brash. You can still make your point without doing that. Or you can still walk into a room and be seen, as my grandmother would say, seen and not heard. And you can also walk in without having on everything that's big and bold and brash, but more simple, more refined. Now you're starting to appreciate the simplicity in all things because you realize that less really is more and simple really is more. Now, ladies, it leads us to our next point. And our next point is now instead of focusing on quantity, you're more focused on quality, not only in your dress, because we're always talking about how we dress and what we're buying in terms of clothes. You don't want to overconsume. You don't want to buy those things that are cheap just because they're cheap and not just cheap in terms of dollars, but cheaply made. Now you're thinking in terms of quality, not only in your clothing, but you're also thinking about quality in your overall life. So instead of having that fast food hamburger and fries, the super size, instead of now having that, now you want quality food. You no longer want that processed food because you're in a hurry. Now you're going to get something that you can grab quickly, like a salad perhaps. You're going to grab that because it's about quality, not quantity. You want something quality because you now realize that, well, you're better than just anything because you've always experienced that and because people around you, those negative people, have said this is how you should be. You have changed. You're now evolving. So our next point, ladies, is now there is a thirst for knowledge. This is a sign that you are on the right track. Instead of being comfortable with where you are and what you know and just saying, oh, who cares about that? It doesn't affect me. I don't care. I don't want to be bothered. Now you're curious. You have a curiosity. You want to see more things. You want to do more things. You want to know what's going on in the world around you as opposed to knowing what's going on next door because you're talking about things you probably shouldn't talk about or people that you shouldn't talk about. Instead, you now have a thirst for knowledge. You want to be more knowledgeable. You want to be more educated. This is a sign that you are elevating yourself. You are expanding your mind. You are now interested in growing, going beyond what you are currently, but where you are possibly going to go. Next, ladies, is there is refinement in your day-to-day -day activities. Instead of coming home, grabbing that paper plate, having your dinner on the paper plate, on the sofa, and we've all are guilty of doing this sometime or another. But instead of doing that every single night, now you want to pull out that china that your grandmother may have given you or that you've gone to the thrift store and you've bought it and it's beautiful bone china, but you've never used it. Instead of now eating off paper plates every single day, you want to have that experience of eating off of this china. You want to make sure that your food is now plated so that it looks very beautiful when you get ready to eat it. Now you've changed. You no longer want the same old things and you no longer want to do the same old things. You want to evolve. This is a sign that tells you that you are redefining your life. You are now moving in a completely different direction. So next ladies is you want a more balanced life. So instead of just focusing on one area of your life, like your career, or perhaps just your family, or those girlfriends, or those hobbies, now you're trying to focus or balance all of that. And ladies, if you are trying to find a partner this year, and you really haven't been focused on it too much, put some thought and attention into that. Because the reality is this, if you're just focused on your career, you're going to look up 10 years from now, 15 years from now and realize that your career is great and it's important and we all want to be the very best that we can be. But the reality is your life is more than just your career. Or if you're just focused on your family, you don't want to look up 15 years from now and think 
what could I have done for myself? What could I have been? What could I have accomplished? So now, if you're starting to think holistically about different areas of your life, you're evolving, you're changing, you are expanding. And this is a wonderful thing because it is all about the elegant evolution. On this channel, we are all about elegance becoming the very best people that we can become. But while we're doing that, and as we continue to do that, we want to do it in an elegant way, a way that represents who we are. So ladies, these are signs that let you know that you are on the move and that you are changing. Now with these signs, you are going to have people in your life that tell you that you shouldn't, that you can't, that you're changing, you no longer think that you can hang out with us or you think you're better than us. Do not listen to them. It is all about you and your evolution and how you can become the best person that you can possibly be. And in that, there will be people that you have to leave behind because they cannot come with you. And it is okay to leave them behind because as you're evolving and growing, that's just not who they are becoming. I hope you've enjoyed the video. You know the drill, you know what we say over here. Leave it down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, also to share. I'll see you next time.